I would do anything for him. I know he would do anything for me. Angelo Raptopoulos testifying against his godbrother, his closest friend, attorney Marco Visbicus, with whom he had been accused of murder, assault, and conspiracy in the death of Daniel Hutch Hutchinson. Life felonies before agreeing to testify against Visbicus to avoid a life sentence. Most difficult thing I've ever done. Are you hesitant to do it? Absolutely. Do you love him? Yes. Okay. And did you always feel loyal to him? Of course. Which is why prosecutors say Raptopoulos agreed to help Marco Bispicus. They say Marco lied to Angelo, told him he and some powerful associates on the East Coast were in danger of being indicted because of Hutch, and that the Oak Park jeweler and his wife had to be taken care of. For Hutch to um, die. To die. And that's to prevent him from testifying? Correct. I didn't want to see them die, but I didn't want to see anything happen to Marco. At the time, Raptopoulos was working at Marco's Pot Farm in Grass Lake with a man named Darnell Larry, a convicted killer who had done his time and now had a young family. Raptopoulos testifying Marco said to keep his name out of it, but Angelo and Darnell stood to make $100,000. I told him that I got information that uh, Marco's in trouble. and. Uh, if, if there is money to be made, if he if he uh, if he wants to get involved, prosecutors say Darnell Larry, who like Raptopoulos, has cut a deal with prosecutors, then enlisted the help of his cousin Roy Larry. Roy Larry was the alleged trigger man on June 1st, 2022, but prosecutors say Marco Bisbicus was behind it all. Not because Hutch was going to get him indicted, but because Marco was Hutch's attorney and was in Hutch's will and stood to inherit millions in laundered money from the Hutchinson's high-end jewelry business. Raptopoulos testifying even after Hutch was murdered, they decided to offer money to find potential recruits to kill his wife, Marissa who had survived the shooting. She uh, was probably the only actual witness. Defense attorneys questioning the credibility of Angelo Raptopoulos, but earlier in the day, questioning the credibility of the lead detective in the case, who received a written reprimand for having drinks at a bar with Marissa Hutchinson during the investigation and did not disclose that to prosecutors. Allegations were that there was an improper sexual relation did you have sex with her? No. The trial continues on Thursday. In Southfield, Amy Lang, Fox 2 News.